Okay, so this is the way we usually do supply and demand diagrams. First, <clears throat> we draw the outline of the first quadrant. Quantity down here, price up here. Then we draw the X, demand curve, and a supply curve. <clears throat> and now we figure out which uh, curve we're going to move in and in which direction. And suppose what I'm going to do is to increase the demand curve. If that's what I'm going to do, then I'll put a 1 on the demand curve, and I'll create a new demand curve. I'll put a 2 on it, and understand that what I've done is to push the demand curve to the right. Now I compare the equilibrium points. There's the first equilibrium, which was right here, and I'll label that equilibrium 1. Then there's the second equilibrium point right here, which I'll label equilibrium 2. And then I'll bounce down to the two axes. This was the quantity in the first equilibrium. And this was the price in the first equilibrium. This was the quantity in the second equilibrium. And this was the price in the second equilibrium. And then I look at what happened to quantity and price. <coughs> and I notice that the quantity moved up, going from equilibrium 1 to equilibrium 2. And the price moved up, going from equilibrium 1 to equilibrium 2. And of course, I would uh, say that in this case, the demand increased. Uh, would you say that the supply increased? No, you wouldn't. You'd say that the quantity supplied increased. I won't say that supply increased because there's only one supply curve here, and it's just right where it should be.